Hello friends, welcome to Insert Saigon Initiative. In today's video, we are going to discuss about ISRO's Insert 3DS launch. This was launched by GSLV. Okay. So now in this video mainly, we are going to discuss about what is this mission is all about. That means Insert 3DS for details regarding that and we will discuss about GSLV because this is going to be the GSLV's F14. So for GSLV done there 16 flights out of them 14 are the you know like successful flights. Then we will discuss about what is the main objective of, of this mission and what are the payloads of this mission. Not only this INSAT 3D okay 3ds apart from that there are some other payloads are also there then we will discuss about that and which orbit it is going to be there initially gto then it is going to be the geo what is this gto and what is this geo that means we are going to discuss about various orbits various orbits orbits related to space launch so these are the areas of the aspects we will discuss in this particular video and of course, at the end of the video, we are going to discuss about GSLV details also. That means technical details of the GSLV and some information regarding the Satish Dhawan space research as well. Okay. So these are the learning objectives of this video. First, always remember basics first. There are two aspects we have to know. That is first. Okay. If you would like to launch any satellite, if you would like to launch any satellite, we require satellite is the one the other one is a launching vehicle launching vehicle these are the two are at most important aspects one is satellite the other one is a launching vehicle satellites are the one which revolves around which revolves around so whichever our target is it may be the moon or it may be the earth or it may be any other objects satellites revolves launching vehicle launching vehicles are the one which launch these satellites launch these satellites launches these satellites okay so satellite launching vehicle are the vehicles whereas the satellites are the objects to be delivered these launching vehicles these launching vehicles they are mainly in indian in indian context i am telling you they are mainly two types of launching vehicles pslv and gslv pslv and gslv this pslv vehicles this PSLV vehicles, these are for the light, lightweight satellites, lightweight satellites. Okay. If the satellite weight is lighter somewhat, then PSLV will be used. GSLV, okay. Heavyweight satellites, heavyweight satellites, GSLV. Okay. Now in this video, we are going to discuss about GSLV F-16. Now you know the difference between the PSLV and GSLV, mainly the launch weight. Apart from that, the different stages of the fuel is also different in PSLV as well as the GSLV. Then the satellites revolves. They revolves in where? They revolves around different orbits. They revolves around different orbits. Now we are going to discuss about different orbits as well as different types of launching vehicles we will discuss first. First let me explain you different types of launching vehicles different types of launching vehicles as we evolved as we developed in our uh, science and technology research so initially we started with the slv satellite launching vehicle 3 then it developed into augmented satellite launching vehicle then polar satellite launching vehicle then gslv geosynchronous satellite launching vehicle mark 2 and mark 3 okay mark 3 you know the development of gslv is very crucial especially uh, in our pursuit towards the human space launch that is Gaganyaan. To achieve the Gaganyaan objective, we require the successful GSLV. Now today's launch is also GSLV. Out of the 16 GSLV launches so far, 14 are the successful. This is indicating the success of the GSLV. So now we can rely on GSLV same like PSLV. That is what the ISRO researchers are believing in. Next, we will see different types of orbits. This is you know like equatorial orbit. If the satellite if the satellite tracks over the equator that is known as equatorial orbit then polar orbit if the satellite tracks this satellite tracks from pole to pole okay through earth's axis then that is known as polar orbit generally satellites which will be launched in polar orbit they will be launched through pslv that is the reason pslv got its name polar satellite launching vehicle now tell me students 
in this year 2024 this is actually the second launch of the isro what was the first launch in 2024 what was the isro's first launch then you know like circular orbit it's this uh, you know like the circular orbit all points of the satellites they cover same altitude of the earth okay same altitude of the earth will cover by satellite all the time whereas the uh, elliptical one elliptical one means so sometimes it will go close to the earth perigee and sometimes very far from the earth apogee that means the distance from the earth varies then based on the altitudes based on the altitudes low earth or orbit leo then medium earth orbit meo and the geostationary orbit geo stationary earth orbit geo generally it will be around 35000 kilometers at this time at this height the satellite the satellite revolution speed around the earth as well as the satellite rotation speed around on its own axis are same that means the satellite seems to be stationary same like how the moon appears stationary to us that is known as geostationary orbit i hope you understood various orbits as well as various satellite launching vehicle now we come to the context in this video first we we'll try to understand gslv 14 it successfully launched insat 3ds okay insat 3ds what is this insat this insat range of satellites this insat range of satellites their main purpose is number one telecommunication communication technology they enhance communication technology and meteorological information meteorological data meteorological information that is the reason this satellite also contains one imager as well as data payloads as well they capture the images of the environment as well as they send the data relevant data and it also helps in the you know like disaster reliefs disaster relief disaster reliefs tell me students disaster management act it was enacted in which year okay disaster reliefs these are the main objective actually this insat this is not the standalone satellite previous versions of the insat satellites are also there that is the reason this insat 3ds is known as the third generation insat satellite the first generation was insat first generation known as insat 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 3d and second generation insat 3d r and the third generation is insat 3d s insat 3d s these are the three generation insat satellites so far launched by isro next 2024 so this is this is actually this launched by gslv f14 like i said earlier this is the 16th gslv flight out of that 14 are the successful launches in 2024 this is the second launch from the isro first launch was PSLV C58 which was exposat which launched the exposat satellite to observe the x-rays in the space insat popularly known as indian national satellite system it launches at geostationary satellites launched by isro main purpose telecommunication broadcasting meteorology search and rescue operations and it provides largest domestic communication systems in india it is a third generation in insat first generation insat 3d second generation insat 3dr launched in 2016 third generation we launched in 2024 insat 3ds already we discussed this launch details launched from sri harikota satish dhawan space center in andhra pradesh funding fully funded by ministry of earth sciences and collaboration with respect to this particular satellite isro collaborated with indian meteorological organization imd and they both developed this particular satellite launch vehicle gslv geosynchronous launch vehicle initially it don't directly launched into geo you know like geostationary orbit okay it don't directly launch into geostationary orbit initially first it launched into geosynchronous transfer orbit geostationary transfer orbit then it will be launched into geostationary earth orbit that means this insat 3ds first it will be launched it will be launched at the orbit of okay transfer orbit then it will be launched into geostationary earth orbit that means this gto act as a you know like halt a temporary stop from there the satellite will go to the height of geo 
aim of this mission already we discussed about this aim of the mission meteorological parameters will be observed it includes oceanic observations and earth surface earth surface information it provides the data collection and data dissemination and it also provides search and rescue services and all payloads also included payload means the other other things which are present on this launch not only the satellite along with the satellite some other you know like other material also we sent into the space this other material is known as payload image payloads in sat 3ds satellite it also carries the satellite carries you know like image payload imager which generate images then sounder payloads it will provide the information regarding the temperature humidity etc and the data relay transpond transponder it pro it conveys it relay the data from the satellite to the to the receiver station at ground also includes satellite aided search and rescue transportation okay it helps in the search and rescue purposes especially in oceans gslv f14 this is the geosynchronous satellite launch launch vehicle it includes three stages three stages especially gslv mainly builds on the cryogenic fuel next gslv three stages already we discussed this then geostationary transfer orbit it is like a temporary orbit before going to the geostationary earth orbit okay geostationary earth orbit generally it uh, presents at the range of 35 to 36000 kilometers satish dhawan space center it locates in the sri harikota andhra pradesh generally pslv as well as gslv both satellites will be launched from this space station okay then yesterday's video question which of the following statements are correct reg regarding the difference between the censure motion and no convenience motion censure motion can be introduced in rajya sabha also rajya sabha only not rajya sabha only lok sabha also censure motion requires specific grounds for its introduction right so answer is b two only consider the following statements government must resign if no convenience motion is passed whereas the government need not to resign if censure motion is passed all right first statement censure motion can be in moved in both lok sabha and rajya sabha whereas no convenience motion can be moved only in the lok sabha okay censure motion censure motion also can be moved only in the lok sabha so second statement is wrong answer is a one only next next question today's question today's question is square kilometer array observatory is what out of these four statement which one is the right one main question what is india's plan to have its own space station and how will it benefit our space program this is the main question okay we reached to the end of this video in this video we mainly discussed about what is the main objective of this particular gslv f16 and what is this insat 3ds here i explained you the basic difference between the pslv and gslv and so what are the main things in this particular launch such as what is the main objective of insat 3ds and previous generation has also we covered and what are the objectives of this mission apart from that we also discussed about what are the payloads in this particular mission and information regarding the gslv and the sri harikota satish dhawan space center so this is the information we covered in this particular video i hope you understood this video and if you need any further topics to suggest please put those suggestions in the comment section thanks for watching this video have a great day jai hind